So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Thursco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about functions. Now in Java we normally call them as methods right but then in Scotland we can call it as methods because ultimately your, Java, your Kotlin code gets converted into Java code right. But then we use this fun keyword right which is also defines as functions. So when you're purely looking at Kotlin, you can say these are functions, but then if you are somewhere running Java with Kotlin together, of course, you will call it the methods. Of course, when you convert this code, you'll be getting a main method, right? So yes, so you can call them as methods, you can call them as functions, but just for time being, I will name the, I mean, I will, I will use a term called as methods there. Oh, I will call them functions. Now, why do we need functions? Uh, first of all, whenever you want to, you know, divide your modules, if you want to let other functions do their task, that's better to go for functions, right? Because you'll be dividing your task in a particular way so that when you work on it, you will not feel a burden. You will not feel that everything in, in one thing. And again, the most important part when it comes to functions is you can reuse them. Now, how do you define a functions here? So it's very easy. What you can do is, let's say I want to add two numbers. Let's go for a typical example here. So if you want to add two numbers, it's very easy. You can define a function and you can say, you can define a function with the help of fun keyword. Again, programming in Kotlin is actually fun. Uh, then you will say a function name as we define that in, met in Java as well. In fact, every programming language, we have to define methods. Now this add method will take two parameters, right? So let's, let's uh, pass two parameters there. I will say this is A. Uh, that's my par first parameter and the type of a here is int i will go for second parameter which is b and the type of b again is int now this function which takes uh, a and b as a parameter it will add those two numbers so what we can do is we can say print ln and we can print the output of those two which is a plus b right again semicolon is not compulsory here now how do you call that method so we can simply say add and we can pass those two values for comma five and our job is done, right? So if you run this code, of course, you'll be getting the output as nine. Let's run this code. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, we got the output here, which is nine, right? Our job is done. That means when you add these values, which is add four comma five, you'll be getting the answer, which is nine. And that's easy. Now we can pass some other values. We can try it out. We can write whatever whatever way we want. So that's how you can add two values. Or that's how you can create a, create a function. Now, here is a twist. The twist is, what if I don't want to print the values here itself? I want them to return return the value because that's what functional programming believes, right? You should not, uh, you should not be, function should be something which takes input, which does some processing and it gives you output, right? It should not create any side effect. Whenever you, whenever you try to print something on the console, it's also a side effect, right? In fact, you might be, uh, you might be doing some, uh, you might be printing on console, you might be entering data in the database, you might be uh, doing some file handling. So those are side effect, right? But when it comes to returning the values, so I believe, you know, function should always return a value because that's what make your system stable. So what you should be doing is, uh, instead of adding those two values, I mean, of course, you should add those two values here. But then instead of printing them here itself, what we'll do is we'll say, hey, I don't want to print those two values. I want to say, simply say A plus B. I want to return the value. Okay, but to return a value, we have to give a return type here, right? So when you don't mention the return type, it means you, are, you don't want to return anything. If you want to return something, you have to give a colon and you have to mention int. Now, the problem is uh, we have to return, a, you have to use those special keyword which you use in Java as well, which is return statement. So you have to use a return keyword here to return the value. And now this one, it returns you a value, right? So of course you will store it somewhere. So I will say var result equal to, I will say add a four comma five. And then later we can print the value and then we can print the value here itself, right? So this function here is actually not printing anything. It is just returning the value and that's what your function should do. Let's run this. Let's see, uh, we'll give a different value. This time we'll go for eight and five just to see if you're getting different output. And uh, let's wait for the output here. And as you can see, we got the output as 13. So yeah, that works. So instead of uh, printing that value here itself, we are returning the value. But don't you think uh, instead of writing this, I mean, we just have one statement, right? That too, which is return. So can we just write a function which will return a value directly, something a uh, inline function? Is it possible? Can we write a inline function in Kotlin? Let's try it out. 
So what I will do is, okay, now we cannot call it as an inline function, but then, you know, uh, it, it, we can write in one line. So what I'm thinking is, what if after this int, we can give a equal to, or maybe a function expression you can call it as, because this function will return a expression. So instead of doing all this return statement, what if we can simply say equal to a, a, a plus b? So whatever value you are getting, you just need the written, written value of that, right? Why you have to write a return keyword, why you have to open the curly brackets. Right. So this is the awesome thing about about Kotlin. Now you might be wondering, this is awesome. Yes, this is also possible in Java as well. But then, you know, we have to go in interface way. We have to create the interface. We have to define the method of the interface using Lambda expression. Right. So we can do that as well in one line in Java. But then this is also possible here. OK, so now let's try to run this code. Let's see. But, but again, we'll go for different values just to prove that this works. Let me just run this code. And here we go, we got the output as 15. So this works, right? So we can write this in one line. Let's go for another function. Let me just add one more function here. Now this time I will go for a maximum of two values, right? This is what we do in every programming language, maybe C language, C++ or Java. You must have learned programming language with the same examples, right? Addition of two numbers, finding the maximum number. And then in future, maybe you'll be having find the maximum of three numbers, right? So let's go for two numbers here. Let's say we have a function which is max. Now this max function will return you a maximum value. Of course, we have to take two parameters here. Again, I will go for int uh, a int comma b int. Now, how do you return a maximum value? So of course, when you when you want to return something, you have to mention I want to return a int value. Now, how do you check? So of course, we have to use if else, right? Now, in if, what we'll do is we'll say if a is greater than b. I will return, I will return a, right? And then else will return b. Now this is what uh, we can do here, right? But then, uh, okay, let's 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 check if it is working here. Instead of calling the add method, I will call or add function, I will call max function by passing these two values, eight and seven. Of course, I'm expecting answer eight here. Let's run this. And yes, we got the output as eight. That's great. We want, we got what we wanted here. Uh, if, even if you change the values, this will work. But then don't you think we have seen if expression before. So instead of returning like a written keyword, and can we just write it in one line the same way we have did for A plus B? And yes, that's possible. What we can do is we can give a equal to symbol here. And we can say if A is greater than B, in this situation, return A, else return B right and trust me you will not miss your ternary operator here right so you can direct, you can directly write if else in one line now that's that's this is an awesome thing you know to achieve something like this so yes we got add we got max and we are able to find uh we, we, we oh we have not tried this yet so what i will do is i will change this value to maybe uh 65 and let's run this now let's run this code let's see what happens and we got the answer, which is 65 years. So when you compare 8 and 65, of course, 65 is but, uh, greater, right? And you got the max value. So this is how it works. But then I have a question. What if you want to call this from a Java code? Because again, this is a Kotlin code, right? And we have used method ex a function expression here, a function which returns a value, but using equal to symbol. Does it work with Java as well? As we have mentioned in the earlier videos that Java and Kotlin, they are 100% inter interoperable. What about this equal to? How about these functions? Can we call this from a Java function? If we can, if we can, the question arises: whenever Java calls a function, a function should be a part of a class, right? It can be a non-static method, it can be a static method. But if you look at these methods here, we have not defined this in any class, right? You can see these functions are open. We have not defined them in any class. How can you call these functions which are not defined in any class? That's the challenging part, right? But how to solve that, that we'll see in the next video. So I hope you liked this video. Click on the like button and do share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.